सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थ्री अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वाड्री लैटरल्स पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन वन गिवन हेयर आर सम फिगर्स वन a square the top of which has been cut out in the form of a triangle 2 a diamond 3 a circle within a circle 4 star 5 2 incomplete circles connected to each other 6 a shape which looks like a tablet 7 3/4 circle eight two circles connected to each other with a line classify each of them on the basis of the following a simple curve b simple closed curve c polygon d convex polygon e concave polygon 2 how many diagonals does each of the following have a a convex quadrilateral b a regular hexagon c a triangle 3 what is the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex quadrilateral will this property hold if the quadrilateral is not convex make a non convex quadrilateral and try 4 examine the table each figure is divided into triangles and the sum of the angles deduced from that here we have a table representing figure side and angle sum figure triangle side 3 angle sum 180 degree figure two triangles connected to each other with a dotted line side 4 angle sum 2 into 180 degree is equal to bracket open 4 minus 2 bracket closed multiplied by 180 degree figure three triangles connected to each other with a dotted line side 5 angle sum 3 into 180 degree which is equal to bracket open 5 minus 2 bracket closed multiplied by 180 degree figure four triangles connected to each other with a dotted line side 6 angle sum 4 multiplied by 180 degree which is equal to bracket open 6 minus 2 bracket closed multiplied by 180 degree page number 42 what can you say about the angle sum of a convex polygon with number of sides a 7 b 8 c 10 d n 5 what is a regular polygon state the name of a regular polygon of 1 3 sides 2 4 sides 3 6 sides 6 find the angle measure x in the following figures a we have a quadrilateral here this has four angles 50 degree 130 degree 120 degree and x b we have another quadrilateral here this has three angles x 70 degree and 60 degree opposite to 60 degree is a right angle c here we have a quadrilateral on a line the topmost angle is 30 degree 
Inside the quadrilateral, we have two opposite angles labeled X. There are two exterior angles at the base measuring 70 degree and 60 degree. D. Here we have a pentagon. All its sides are labeled X. All the sides are equal. 7. Here we have a triangle. The topmost angle is 90 degree and the angle exterior to it is labeled X. There's another angle which is 30 degree and the angle exterior to it is labeled Z. The measurement of third angle hasn't been written. The angle exterior to it is labeled Y. A. Find X plus Y plus Z. Here, we have a quadrilateral. The topmost angle is 60 degree and the angle exterior to it is Z. There is another angle which is 80 degree. The angle exterior to it is Y. Another angle is 120 degree. Angle exterior to it is X. The last angle hasn't been measured and the angle exterior to it is W. Find x plus y plus z plus w. 3.3. Sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a polygon. On many occasions, a knowledge of exterior angles may throw light on the nature of interior angles and sides. Page number 43. Do this. Draw a polygon on the floor using a piece of chalk. In the figure, a pentagon ABCD is shown. You can observe it in figure 3.8. We want to know the total measure of angles that is M angle 1 plus M angle 2 plus M angle 3 plus M angle 4 plus M angle 5. Start at A. Walk along AB. On reaching B, you need to turn through an angle of M angle 1 to walk along BC. When you reach at C, you need to turn through an angle of M angle 2 to walk along CD. You continue to move in this manner until you return to side AB. You would have in fact made one complete turn. Therefore, M angle 1 plus M angle 2 plus M angle 3 plus M angle 4 plus M angle 5 is equal to 360 degree. This is true whatever be the number of sides of the polygon. Therefore, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degree. Figure 3.8 Here, we have a pentagon A, B, C, D, E. The exterior angle of A is 5, exterior angle of B is 1, exterior angle of C is 2, exterior angle of D is 3 and exterior angle of E is 4. Example 1. Find measure X in figure 3.9. Figure 3.9. Here, we have a quadrilateral. In the left side, there are two exterior angles. 110 degree at the bottom and 50 degree at the top. In the right side, there are two exterior angles, 90 degree at the top and X at the bottom. Solution X plus 90 degree plus 50 degree plus 110 degree is equal to 360 degree. Why? X plus 250 degree is equal to 360 degree. X is equal to 110 degree. Try these. Take a regular hexagon, figure 3.10. Figure 3.10, here we have a regular hexagon. The angles within the hexagon are marked A. The exterior angles are marked as P, Q, R, X, Y, and Z. 1. 
what is the sum of the measures of its exterior angles x, y, z, p, q, r? 2. Is x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to p is equal to q is equal to r? Why? 3. What is the measure of each? 1. Exterior angle 2. Interior angle 4. Repeat this activity for the cases of 1. A regular octagon 2. A regular twentigon Example 2. Find the number of sides of a regular polygon whose each exterior angle has a measure of 45 degree. Solution. Total measure of all exterior angles is equal to 360 degree. Measure of each exterior angle is equal to 45 degree. Therefore, the number of exterior angles is equal to 360 by 45 is equal to 8. The polygon has 8 sides. Page number 44 Exercise 3.2 1. Find x in the following figures. a. Here we have a triangle. The exterior angles on the left side measure 125 degree and 125 degree. The exterior angle on the right side is x degree. b. Here we have a polygon. One exterior angle is 90 degree, one is 60 degree, one is 70 degree, and one is x. The last exterior angle has not been given, but the angle interior to it is 90 degrees. 2. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon of 1. 9 sides, 2, 15 sides. 3. How many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of an exterior angle is 24 degree? 4. How many sides does a regular polygon have if each of its interior angles is 165 degree? 5. A. Is it possible to have a regular polygon with measure of each exterior angle as 22 degree? B. Can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon? Why? 6. A. What is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon? Why? B. What is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? 3.4 Kinds of quadrilaterals Based on the nature of the sides or angles of a quadrilateral, it gets special names. 3.4.1 Trapezium Trapezium is a quadrilateral with a pair of parallel sides. We have four images of trapeziums here. Two arrows have been made on each image to represent parallel sides. Then, we have three images of shapes that are not trapeziums. Study the above figures and discuss with your friends why some of them are trapeziums while some are not. Note, the arrow marks indicate parallel lines. Do this. 1. Take identical cutouts of congruent triangles of sides 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Arrange them as you can observe in figure 3.11. Here we have three congruent triangles which have been connected to each other together to form a quadrilateral. The side at the top measures 5 cm. On the bottom, it's divided into 5 cm and 5 cm. On the left side, it is 4 cm. On the right side, it is 3 cm. The diagonals are 3 cm and 4 cm each and have been made with dotted lines. This quadrilateral is ABCD. Page number 45
you get a trapezium. Check it. Which are the parallel sides here? Should the non-parallel sides be equal? You can get two more trapeziums using the same set of triangles. Find them out and discuss their shapes. 2. Take four set squares from your and your friend's instrument boxes. Use different numbers of them to place side by side and obtain different trapeziums. If the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are of equal length, we call it an isosceles trapezium. Did you get an isosceles trapezium in any of your investigations given before? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Somya Malik Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India